Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it off for 30 plus years, where there should be no hesitation in your weight loss and weight maintenance. Today we're going to talk about some of the best desserts that you can eat if you need to eat a dessert. But before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my two books, which you can find on Amazon, my website, which has hundreds of articles and recipes, and my podcast, Confessions of an Obese Child, The Awakened Man, which both deal with a lot of topics related to this, and then my new one on movies called The Cinema Rag, all of which you can find on Apple and Spotify. All right, so we have a lot of episodes on desserts. We know most desserts are just empty calories, a lot of sugar and a lot of trans fats. If you think of cheesecakes and and cakes in general and, and Boston cream pies, and the list goes on and on, cookies. It's just a lot of excess sugar none of which gives you nutrition for your body and a lot of other bad things. But we're human and we have a sweet tooth. We've talked about it here, how you should have a different strategy when it comes to weight loss and weight maintenance. They're fundamentally different and you do need to be with, you do need to be stricter on the weight loss journey than when you get to weight maintenance. Weight maintenance, you want to have a little more flexibility because this is now something you're gonna have to do for the rest of your life. So there are people that will do kind of a carnivore or something exceedingly strict to lose the weight, but typically these things won't work. In the long run, this is why 80% regain the weight. So when it comes to desserts, it's understandable that you wanna eat them. We do have a sweet tooth and God knows they put so much sugar in everything now. Condiments have tons of sugar. They, they, they want us to get hooked on sugar. But when you want to have a sweet, there are things out there that are not as bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like when you're choosing politicians, you have to choose the lesser of two evils. They're not as bad. So clearly, and look, you can always splurge, definitely weight maintenance. Look, it's not like I've never had a Dairy Queen blizzard or I eat ice cream or have some cake here and there. But in general, there are things out there that are relatively healthy for us to eat as a dessert if you have a sweet tooth. My 11-year-old son doesn't really have a sweet tooth. He's not tempted by that. He's tempted by other foods. He likes other foods, but he won't have a sweet tooth. I like sweets, so I have a sweet tooth. So what are some healthy things that you can do? Look at the Middle East. We have an episode here on what to eat, what not to eat at Middle Eastern restaurants, and they're pretty famous for baklava. So baklava is essentially phyllo dough, nuts, and honey. So they crush the nuts, typically it's pistachios, and they crush it into a kind of a layered cake, and it's great, it tastes really good. And now, nuts are high in fat, good fats, the mufas and pufas, and honey is, is a natural sweetener, so it does have sugar, but you could do worse. You could definitely do worse than eating baklava. So it's, it's relatively healthy, and it tastes great, especially when it's warm. And I have a couple of recipes at the website on how to make these, it's not hard. Another one you can do is fruit. You know, fruit is nature's candy, and I think we forget about that. And throughout most of our existence as Homo sapiens sapien, fruit was our dessert, right? It'd be fruit and honey if you could find a, a honeybee place, a hive. But as a whole, it was fruit, fruit that was grown in season. And so we are wired to eat fruit, to digest it pretty re readily available fruit, and to break down the fructose that's in it. Now, some fruits are better than others. We've talked about this on the episode on, on the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15, in terms of just there are some fruits that are gonna absorb pesticides more, hormone disruptors more than others. And then there's gonna be fruits that are higher on the glycemic index. So these are gonna be fruits that are not as healthy for us, are gonna spike our blood sugar and therefore spike our insulin. So in general, we wanna stay away from very ripe bananas, pineapples, grapes, raisins, these are all high on the glycemic index. We have a video on this. But I would say probably the best dessert, and look, you can post in the comments if you agree or disagree, is gonna be berries. If you can eat them alone, just have a berries. Blueberries, raspberries, because these, these fruits are high in fiber and low in the glycemic index. So you're getting those benefits, but they're also just taste good. And if you can't just eat a bowl of fresh blueberries on their own, Try to whip up some fresh whipped cream and then dip strawberries, for example, with whipped cream. And I wouldn't get Cool Whip because Cool Whip is just a franken food. It's completely fake. But there are definitely recipes out there to, to make your own whipped cream. And so if, if berries in themselves are not sufficient to satisfy your sweet tooth, 
then dip them with a little whipped cream. And look, this is infinitely better than ice cream, than cookies, than brownies, than cheesecakes, than cream pies, and so forth. So instead of focusing on, well, you know, oh, this is the, the whipped cream's got too much fat. If you have a sweet tooth and you have to get it, it's better than those options. Or the poor man's dessert, which is just get some sugar cereal that you have of your kids and having a couple of bowls of that. Guys, post in the comments. Let me know what you think is a healthy dessert. If you don't agree with baklava and fruit with whipped cream, I'd like to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.